Hello guys, welcome back to another Boom Beach video. Today we are going to be using the all-girl strategy versus we'll do some Dr. T, then we'll go on to some player bases. It's just going to be a ton of fun. Now, before you comment and say the Scorchers are not a girl troop, the tanks are not a girl troop, well, for one, the, the tanks are driven by a girl. We know that. Boomy just posted pictures about that. And we don't know who drives the Scorcher. So, since there's not many troops in the game, I did this before. I'm just assuming that whoever drives the Scorcher is going to be a girl. Now, chances are this isn't the case, but it just makes the challenge a little more fun because I have a little more variation between the troops. So, as of now, I have two of each boats uh, loaded up, and we're going to be trying this out. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be using... My, I believe my cryoneers stand in front of my tanks, which is going to be kind of hard, and I don't know which stand, which stands closer, or which has a longer range, to cryoneers or bazookas. I believe the cryoneers have a shorter range, so we're gonna, I guess we're gonna test that out. But as you see here, the cryoneers are super fast. They're like almost as fast as the scorchers, I believe. But anyway, guys, the scorchers, yeah, it looks like the cryoneers stand a little before bazookas. So that is actually very good. We're just turning the volume down. Um, and I had to block out that email again. Because you know what, guys? I'm just going to put this on Do Not Disturb. Because you know what? <sighs> Emails, text messages. I don't want you to see names. Like I don't care what's in it. I just don't want you to see names or anything like that. So it looks like the order of like the range order is going to be the Scorchers, the Cryoneers, the Zookas, and then the Tanks at the very end. So it's going to be kind of fun to see how well each of these uh, combinate or each of these troops go together and come together as one combination. Um, I'm guessing I'm going to be losing a lot of Zookas and a lot of Cryoneers, probably not so many Tanks or Scorchers. Uh, so right now, I'm just dropping all of them at once. I don't care about placement. A little later, I'm going to get a little more precise, and I'm going to get my time uh, load out. Uh, I'll, just, I'll just pay more attention to time and stuff like that. But you know what? These first, like, four stages, they're easy. We're just taking them down. We're dropping a few critter boxes. Is that boosted up? Why did that... St I, 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 that statue... Just turned blue. I don't know if that was from the Cryonia Blast. Just made it look blue. But I'm pretty sure that statue just turned blue. I'm probably going insane though. Okay. I want to talk about something. You know what? I used to be talking about real stuff like all the time in the past. Okay, now we're going to have to start getting a little more precise. We'll drop bows. We'll drop our zookas. Um, You know, people... See... Our old video, our, we're going to make a whole kind of video dedicated to this eventually. Um, but our whole videos, guys, we used to like, it, like when we first started out on YouTube, we did some pretty stupid things. Um, we kind of branded our channel and kind of, it was just weird when we started out. We didn't know what we were doing, which is fine. Um, but you know what? We might be deleting some of our old videos or just putting them on private um, just because they're not like quality, they're just trash. Like, I was watching it the other day, and usually I could listen to my voice and not cringe too much. But you know what? These first couple of videos, I was just like, ah. and I just don't want like a bad rep for our name based on those first few videos. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want people to say, oh yeah, Cosmic Duo, they're the people that have this type of voice. Yeah, I don't want that. I just want like, you know what I'm saying, guys? I hope you do. You know, I, so if you notice, like, a decline of videos from us, or, no, not a decline of uploads, but a decline of, like, how many videos we have actually public, then that's just, that might be why. Um, and why was that flame that hooked onto my Scorcher? Why, why, why? That's all the questions. You know? Universal questions. Okay. We're just gonna drop an artillery, take down the sniper towers. No, I don't quite no look at that are you kidding me why would you walk straight up next to a flamethrower come on cryoneers I, I feel like the cryoneers are kind of dumb to be honest like they're definitely dumb like they have no idea what they're freaking doing they just do whatever they want and here we go we did lose a lot of zookas we did lose like five no four cryoneers oh we didn't lose any zookas I'm pretty, oh, oh, we lost them on the base before that. Okay, we're going into stage number six, and I don't know how well this is going to go, but we are definitely, definitely going to try it. Okay, 
here's what we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to take down this uh, group before we land not really the rocket launcher but more of a boom cannon there we go we're gonna drop our two scorchers we're gonna drop our two tanks and then we are gonna drop our two zookas and then over here oh no they don't want to go over there we're gonna drop a shock um i wanted to keep my cryoneers over here so that's what we're doing we're kind of making it so the loadout uh hopefully we'll be able to do this Okay, I just don't want that Scorcher to get inside the dead zone of that Shock Launcher because then Shock Launcher is going to hook on to this little group of Zookas which are just sitting there like sitting ducks. Come on, Zooks. Oh my gosh, these guys over here are wounded. We're going to drop that. Uh, okay, it's looking good so far. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. If I as soon as I lose my Scorchers, guys, that's, a, that's when it goes downhill. It goes downhill so freaking fast. As soon as my Scorchers all die, and I believe that Scorcher is going to die. That Scorcher is totally, totally going to die. Like, there's no way that Scorcher is going to be staying alive. No, he will stay alive. Yes. Okay, I'm losing so many troops, guys. You, This is insane. Uh, this is going to cost me a fortune to train up. This is, this is awful. There we go. We were able to beat... Dr. T stage 6. We are going to be going on to stage number 7 and see if we can beat stage number 7. So here we go, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm liking this. There's no shock launchers, which is good because that means, you know, shock launchers are bad. Just like everything else. Okay. Okay. That's so what we're going to do. We're going to go. Blah, 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 and we're going to put our tanks on the edge. We're going to drop a shock here. I just don't want to lose tanks because I feel like. I feel like tanks are what's going to keep us alive, if you know what I'm saying. Heck yeah, you do. Heck yeah, okay. Because um, the Scorchers have tons of HP, and I should have waited on that shock until all those got out of the smoke. I'm not sure if that smoke placement was very good, uh, but I'm just going to say it was. Oh my gosh, that Scorcher is dying so freaking fast. That Scorcher is almost dead. That is insane. Okay, I don't think we're going to be able to beat this. Our Scorchers are both almost dead, and there is a rocket launcher, so maybe maybe I'll work on taking out that rocket launcher with my extra artillery, and hopefully I don't lose all my troops, because then I have to spend a fortune in diamonds to retrain them. See, that's a problem with this strategy, guys. All the tanks hang out, all the Zookas hang out be, uh, in front of the tanks, so the tanks just get whipped, and there's no way we're defeating this. We are retreating to save as many diamonds as as we can in fact no don't die no yes yes <laughs> those troops had no hp left i'm sorry if i'm not looking at the webcam or the face cam too much i'm also going to bring my phone up here so i'm not looking down so much there's so much i have to figure out with this webcam guys 160 that's so expensive we're not going to try again we are going to go on to a player base um not that guy that guy's boosted up you know no, no, no. Okay, here we go. Okay, we're gonna do this guy. This guy has a weird base. Obviously, this is his building base, and he forgot to change it back, or he's just being a derp and doesn't want to build it, train it back, or move it, move it back. Okay, we dropped shocks just because you know what? All those boom cannons are just gonna completely clear, clear out my scorchers. Okay, here we go. We're dropping all of our artillery. We're dropping all of our garages. As soon as those go down, though, we pretty much have nothing to worry about, which is good. Uh, we're going to drop those. Okay, it's it's looking good. It's looking good. Uh, we do need to take down the rocket launchers because we don't want the rocket launchers to miss aim and take out our Zookas. Um, so, so far, I'm loving this strat, guys. This strat is pretty cool. I'm definitely, I'm definitely loving it, and I hope that Scorcher doesn't die. So, we are going to be dropping a shock on that. Ah, uh, dang it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Okay, we're just dropping medkits galore because I do not want to lose too many Zookas. Actually, guys, this will be my last battle, so it doesn't really matter if I lose them because I'm definitely not going to be using this strategy again. I'm not even looking over here. They're just getting slaughtered by the shock blaster. Wow, okay, so we took down the shock blast, so we're going to drop a few critters, uh, critter boxes over there, and that will help us a lot, look at that, that didn't take down that for us, and hopefully we won't lose anything else, I'm kind of worried about these sniper towers, so I am going to be dropping a shock, and hopefully that will do something, we are going to be dropping critters over here, and if we need to, we do have enough for a smoke, I feel like I'm talking so 
fast right now. I, I am. I'm talking very fast. So, final thoughts about the strategy. I know this wasn't quite a real player base, or it wasn't even a hard player base. It was definitely a real player base, but it wasn't a hard one because he didn't make his base back. Or he's just being derp, like I said before. But overall, I'm loving this strategy, guys. I probably won't use it again because it's pretty mu it's pretty ineffective. Like, there's so many better combinations I could use that will do much better. And I'll lose a lot less. Okay, I I'm feeling some more errors next video, guys. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I should have trimmed this up before I started. It would have only cost me 17. And then I would have level 4 crime years. Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, be sure to drop a like. As always, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye.